Okay, then. Well, let's look at your game and see what you're doing. I mean, I'm, I'm not liking this uh, kind of nebulous goal. It doesn't really put much risk on us, does it? No, I, I guess I want to get my first champion skin or the elite skin, so gold. Let's see what you're doing the first game and see how you move and play, and then I can kind of start steering in the right direction. So we've been playing Yone. 54% win rate, pretty much break even. Not really moving beyond silver right now. We're getting some decent farm. So there must be something we're doing that's monumentally goofy if we're not winning these games. At least in my opinion. Yeah. Well, let's see. I'm not going to know until I watch your gameplay. If you're getting really good farm, that's a, at least a good start. Like, if you're capable of getting good farm with lead, that's a good start. There must be some sort of rotational shit that you're doing wrong. And hold C. Did you wind up going bone plating or second wind? I didn't see. Uh, you went plate. second wind. You went second oh, wind here. Wind. Yeah. So second wind is... Uh, it's pretty good into poke. I mean, Zed does poke quite a bit, but we really should try to avoid the Q poke. The other thing okay. that you're watching out for in Zed is W, like when he casts Shadow on top of you and trades with Shadow there, that's that's the really scary part of Zed, in my opinion. Um, the rest of it's pretty simple. Like, as long as you just dodge Qs and don't get, you know, just don't eat a bunch of those, it should be a pretty free lane. You must be on the West Coast with this ping, yeah? Yeah. Pretty high ping. Hawaii. Oh my god, that's why it's so high. What you're looking for here is when he goes to last hit minions, you you want to try to land those cues on him. Like right there, I'd be looking to find uh, autos or cues. Good. Yeah, auto him. Auto him. You have lethal tempo. Auto him. Do not let go. Do not let go. We auto. We fight, okay? Good. Just future reference. If you're ever, if you ever find yourself with someone doing that versus lethal tempo, you always just fight it out like that. Okay. Okay. Now reset. QA and reset. Yep. Good win. And grab yourself a long sword is what I would do here. I would grab a long sword. I'd want the AD. Yeah. Right, let's get back up there. Now, you're technically on defense here. Even though you got the first blood, that's a big wave. So, you're just going to farm from range, okay? You don't want to you don't want to take a big trade. Be very chill here. That very chill. W right now. I don't even want his W. We don't even Yeah, that's fine. You could stack up Q so you can maybe hit the cannon from range. That's good. You're fine. Just relax. Poppy's forcing. It's awkward, so I wouldn't worry about it. Now, just slow push. He's going to ping you because he doesn't know how wave management works. Now, slow push and try to trade into him. I would E and try to poke there, like with your Q. Because you're just stuck under tower anyways. There's no reason not to. E. E at him. E at him. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Fight him. Yeah, fight him. He dies for this. Yeah, he dies for this. Stay on him. Now, next time you, if you see him ever do that again, you'd swap back with your, um, your E and, and try to go all in right there. You see how he's okay. like sitting in near the wave and you had a knock up? Like you need to be hungry to try to kill him. I would E and poke there. Good. Let's try. It's a lot of juggling. Welcome to Yona. You want to play the high skill shit. And walk up. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not backing down. Look how low he is, bro. Try to land some poke on him. I would E and try to land like a quick poke and then swap back. Good. Stay up there. Why do you keep trying to back down? Are we friends? Like, I don't understand. Push. Q. Yep, W the wave. Poppy's like entering our laner. Camera, you should have moved your camera on it. Uh, I'm eating and igniting this. Like, in going for the kill. All right, let's take a reset. Run, no, 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 no. Now's not the time to go up there. Yeah. Let's take a reset.
I'm going, yeah, that's fine. You can go for attack speed. Wait, let's heal up to four. And we're off. Let's go. Uh-oh. I would use my E to try to get the cannon if it's still up. Let him push it to you. Don't, no, 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 don't hard shove. The only way you're going to get an all in is if the wave is long. You understand? You want a scenario like you just had where you were pushing into him and poking him under tower. That's what you want. Let him, just let him come to you. Good. Now use your W and try to set up a quick freeze. Right there. That's good. Now you're chilling. He goes near the wave. Stack up your tornado or your uh, Q. I saw, almost said tornado like Yasuo. Stack up your two, your Q, and then um, we're gonna go look for an E. Well, okay, shove. He moves the top. We shove. Oh. And you should be moving your camera to top to assess what he's using. So he probably used all. Is what that means. He probably used all. Now I'd walk up river and challenge. Walk up river. Yep. Towards the poppy, technically. Yep. And then, all right, shove mid again. Shove mid again because he's going too wide. Yeah. The Zed has full HP here, and we're probably not going to catch him on a kill. Let's just shove and go to bottom. Go to bottom. Down river. Go. No need to stare at a range creep. Like, it's pointless. Put your pink down as well. Put your pink down somewhere. Yeah, just keep walking down river. Ping on the way. Let him know you're coming. All right. We want to eat all the squishies. All of them are fine. Fine options. Very rushed ult. A huge level lead here. You need to fight. You have a huge level lead. Now, <clears throat> you got Zed coming. I would E, 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 E at him next time. Because you can always swap back. Now push quickly. You know he has no ult. Remember, we already called that. We look top. Now let's just shove this under and reset. All right, get us out of here. All right, grab and go quickly. Poppy just wanted to run it down again, so. Yep. Nice. <clears throat> Keep stacking up your Q. You have Vamp Scepter. Why are we backing down? Echo's bottom, so. Yep. You can go over the wall here. Just walk over. Yep. Keep queuing. You have W. There you go. Kite away from the Zed. Kite away from him. You know he's below you. Kite away from him so you can see him more. Okay, he's going to bottom, so we're going to go back to mid and shove. Stack up your Q quickly and then zone this guy once uh, you get the wave under. All right, zone him. Go find him to your right. Walk to your right. Yep. Next time, you wait until he Ws, then you could have ulted. Yeah, without E, it's a little dangerous. Keep poking with Q.
Hilarious. You almost get away with it. Uh, I would, I would hold off. Um, I would probably sell the pink and see how our money looks then. Yeah. Close the shop and watch the fucking fight. Like, I want to see what people are using, dude. That's more important right now. Flash on Nasus. <clears throat> Poppy's a dumbass. All right, so we're going to grab shield bow. Get it to the edge of the fountain. Go. Push hard. Push you just spike shield though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to base. Oh, he's starting that shove and then we'll contest. You need to be sneaky about it. Like, go through river and try to go behind the pit or something. Yeah, yeah. Hop the wall. Hop the wall. Now, look at the echo for a second. All right. E over and fuck with him. Now, go back around and fuck with him. Fine. Ah, uh, yeah. He's leaving. Okay, grab the plant. Well, you got his ult at least. Now the guy's probably going to red, so let's go fuck with him on red. Zed's still not in lane, so... Put a ward over the wall at red. You have E, you win. You have shield bow. Don't run. You win. Yeah, hit the... Hit the uh, ward, dude. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. Back to mid. Yeah, just kind of kite to mid. Yep, back to mid. So remember, all these rotations, like, see this ward? You're just walking by that ward. Go back and clear it. Yeah, that's lazy. lazy you, well, you need to be, like, autoing and uh -oh. moving. That's the point. You have a billion attack speed. So, like, Ooh. you just treat people kind of like they're... Basically, they're just kind of in your way, right? Like, you're moving towards things and fighting as you move towards things. Because you're getting really okay. tunneled on the fights individually. But I... I you, you need to fight in transit. Almost like the same way you okay. would kite camps, you kite enemy champions. You just kind of move move through. Because you have attacks, like so what? much auto attack speed. Yeah, yeah, take a play. Auto it once and leave. That's good. Now press B. Go uh, BF sword quickly and get right back out to mid. Go. Grab a pink as well. A little late, it's fine. guy's doing this shit again he just keeps doing it on vision and gets away with it we're gonna just shove because we don't have ult we're gonna shove both waves here and then we're gonna go to chickens to golems to top and dive okay we've already got a plan okay top just top died anyways so now we're gonna shove in zone don't chase the kills just shove in zone yep yeah, go zone him e e at him e at him like pressure him not you away. Too easy. Mm. Yeah, you have to flash it. Good. Good. Nice job. See, we didn't tunnel. Now you can uh, walk back up. Now we're walking back up. They're really low and you have ult. I know, but you mean attack. Yeah, you're just going to E ult. Just keep autoing. Keep pushing. Come on. Stop trying to back down. You have a fucking Yumi on you. Just wait till you have E. Just stay up there and cue the wave. Yep. Auto, auto, cue. Come on. Auto, auto, cue. The whole premise here is you have Vamp Scepter, so you shouldn't be backing down. You can kill him. Hmm. I'd leave now. That's probably going there, right? Oh, he's dead. <clears throat> you might have been able to take tower there, but I'd still rather you base. All right, let's go.
What a terrifying ergot scenario up there. Yeah. All right, let's push. Oh, you E into that. You E into that and pressure him. That's fine. Go to wolves or something. Go to wolves and heal up. Now you can E and ult if they get out of line. Keep rushing my ults. Mm -hmm. You're not layering. Yep. You're not layering abilities. You're not thinking about what they might do. You're just flinging it at them without thinking about their abilities too. Yeah, gotta get over the jitters right now. Push, take tower, <laughs> come on. Take tower, yes. Yep. Argot was all the way up in Narnia with three people on him, so. Just shove the wave. You E, you E, you E, you E, you E. Just E and push. And you could just run away with E. There you go. I just take a reset and get IE now. Okay. Grab a pink. This guy's just staying on top of you, which is pretty smart. Okay, back to wave. No, no, you missed the jump. You just go back to wave anyways. Okay. Like, you want to clear those camps while moving towards mid. So, like, missing the jump means we just go back to mid. E forward. E forward and C. There you go. Now swap back. You want to look forward and see who's coming to defend. Oh, yeah, what, what, what was the purpose of looking forward? I just told you. You want to see who's de coming to defend. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't catch that. It's okay. Yeah, I would just hit tower here. You can Ian harass, like, it, when you see Zed, like, you don't have to pussy out. Ian harass him. You have a Yumi on your head and a shield boat. I'll swap back. Now you can turn with ult. Ult. Like, you'd be surprised how much damage you can actually do in those spots. I usually go blade third. Is that optimal mm -hmm. here, or should I go? I would just go death stance, probably. Death stance okay. normally the more winning option, anyways. What's the, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, what's happening with the Zed here? Is he struggling on the Yumi? He really is. That's from downtown. <laughs> But don't be shy do about do? limit testing your E. Discs? Yeah, yeah. So when I was telling you to harass with E, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get you to pressure him and get as many cooldowns as you can because Yumi's going to heal you up. You don't have to all in. It's more of just like poke at him like you've been doing. Just quick. Yeah, just like quick poke and see if you get him to ult. Or, you know, you, you're not going to die instantly. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But you will yeah. die if you just like full send it under tower, right? I'm saying right. poke at him with the shit because you know, regardless, shield bow should heal you up. Or I mean, shield bow will pop and Yumi should heal you up. So there's no way that you're gonna just die for free. We can go to red. All right, let's go up to mid. Oh, we need our E, though. So just sit back until we have E, and then we'll go. Oh, wow. Uh, walk at him. Q at him. Don't run away from him. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Turn around. Yep. Good. Push. Walk straight forward. Oh, never mind. You have that. I see.
E, go poke at them. No. And just keep bottling and healing up. You don't have to fight anymore. Just heal up. Literally, just heal up. See what I mean? Like, kind of let them come to you instead of, like, running to backline when you could just heal up. So, <clears throat> what I what I'm noticing right away is, I mean, you tell me. What do you think? Let's see if you figured it out. Uh, I'm too nice. And right. Lack focus, or I, I guess I tunnel vision on myself, and I think that every time I try to hurt someone, it has to be an all-in. When really it could just be bait some abilities out, then go back in with the with the uppercut knock. Right, 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 right. So what I want you thinking is like what I wrote down is like you're not poking enough in lane phase and then guys trying to base and you just run a good base with him instead of get up on the lane and push and try to and actually try to poke the guy down. And then um, there's like layering fails where you're not really thinking about what ability's coming when you're about to ult. Like at one point, mm -hmm. at one point in that game, you were flanking or you were going down to bot lane. You're roaming to bot lane. You're about to make a big play. You're two levels ahead of everybody and you immediately just open with your ult. Yeah, I eat too soon as well. And yeah, you need to ulting. just, you need to just understand when you are strong and that will determine whether or not you can slow play fights. Here we go. We're running and it's like, and we're level seven. We've got two kills. We've got Berserker Greaves. We're massive here. We've got more XP than we should ever have. We just shoved mid, which means we've got more XP than the entire lobby. Right? We're uh -huh. winning. And you run down here, everybody's low. No outplay potential in the enemy team. This is just bags of gold. These are minions for you. And you run down, you E from like two screens away, and then just rush. It's like, bro, they don't even have CC for you yet. They have no right. CC. The only person that could even CC you is who? This is the layering thing. Uh, possibly the NF slow or the FF no. stun, but he used it. That's there exactly. The misfortune stun doesn't mean shit, or the misfortune E doesn't mean shit to us here, because okay. we're just gonna E out of it, right? And right. then ult anyways. They can't stop us from getting what we want here, but they can if we do I this. I just biffed it hard. Yes, if you would just walk up. Auto Q the cannon. Take the. I would have calmly taken the cannon right in their face and then E and start killing them. Right. Yeah. Okay. Like, there's no rush I, at all. <laughs> little jittery. I gotta. It's not an excuse though, but you're right. I mean, it. I get it. If you've never been on a stream before and been coached before, yeah. But my thing is, I expect you. I expect everybody to play worse than they normally do. But tendencies are just magnified on these streams. You understand? Right. How do people respond to pressure is a big uh, is a big reason I like live coaching. Okay. It's easy. It's easy to look at VODs and be like, oh, you should have done this. But it's different when you're in a game and you're starting to recognize ten, like habits that you have. And I'm like getting on you about them in real time. Sweet. <clears throat> That's the main thing that I wanted to go over. Obviously, like not uh eating to harass is a big one like you want to you want to think constantly like can i get away with just poking this guy under tire right now like what's going to stop me from and really think about like the limits of that be like you know i could go i could go under here and i could eat right before he does this and i can get damage off like really find those little edge cases that's what the game's about okay. you'll see me all the time like face a garen or something right if i'm facing garen with like yone if i'm going if i see a wave under tower I go, how can I poke this guy and then E back right before he silences me? Like, that's the type of shit I do.